Hi, sweet friends, and a welcome to today's vlog. I have a lot of things to get done today, and I want y'all to come along with me. I think as I begin to edit this video after the day's over with, that I will probably do like the shop with me, and then the haul, and then the shop with me, and the haul. I know I'll be going to Dollar Tree. I need to stop at the grocery store, and I need to stop at Target. So I don't know what order we're going to do all that in. But y'all come with me and let's enjoy the day together. What I would is share with y'all my Christmas outfit for work today. Feeling a little festive today. Got on my Converse, the big chunky kind. So cute with my Bucky shirt. Little pair of black joggers. Yeah, I'm here at the Dollar Tree in the Lake Jackson, Texas. Let's head in and, and do some shopping. Magnetic Alphas, they are by the American Craft Company. They have them in the minis, which are 1.75 inch, and then they have them in the three inch. You get 68 per pile uh, sticker activity pads. This one is a Candyland. It's got the stickers. And then like the, the activity sheets behind it. And they also have it in Tonka. Disney stickers, Jurassic World stickers. These are pretty big sticker packs. You get 150 in each pack. A big Gelosity, extra smooth, vibrant writing pens. You get four of them. New iron on pouches. Mermaids. I guess just the two styles. We stocked some of these fun socks. Obey. Ninja Turtles. There's some more Mountain Dew. Reese's. Pop Tarts. Cheez Its. Frosted Flakes. More Cheez Its and a Ritz of crackers. They got in some more of the Guru Ananda products. This is a 60 pack of floss picks, and they had the inner dental brushes in the mint flavor. And then just the travel case of floss picks. They are Santa Claus cups for the kiddos. It's got a built in straw. Hi, sweet friends. So I have the Dollar Tree haul for y'all now. I didn't buy that much. I didn't see that much. In fact, a Dollar Tree in Lake Jackson is kind of a disappointment. I mean, honestly, Lake Jackson is the biggest town that we have here locally, and they just don't take care of that store. It's it's kind of gross. It's just dirty. It's, it's just a mess. And if you live here locally, <laughs> Um, you probably can't attest to what I say. It's just a mess. It's just flat out a mess. But I try to go. I usually don't go over there every week. I go to the one in Freeport. It is a very nice store in Freeport. They keep it clean. The ladies there are really friendly. And it's just a good store to go to. But if I'm in Lake Jackson, I will stop there. Which is what I did today. And I found some items that I had not found previously. So some new items. I have a, a nephew who loves trying different kinds, different types of coffees. And usually as Christmas approaches, they put out quite a few different ones. And so I found some coffees for him. I personally do not drink coffee, so these are all for him. This one is Butterscotch Caramel. They are the Harry, Harry and David brand caramel with butterscotch they had maple vanilla they had milk chocolate and peanut butter they had the cake cups in the vanilla cream brulee and i got them some of these m&m Hot chocolates. So 
got those. So that is all for them. And I have some others that I've picked up along the way, some other things. And I also got them one of these um, Patat Patatoni, Patatoni, maybe, chocolate chip. If I find some more, they're by the brand Baduco. Yeah, Baduco. I might get them some more. These are good with hot chocolate with coffee, a little butter heated up. It's kind of like a, a muffin. You can tell in the picture, it's kind of even shaped like a muffin. Pretty good. So I got those for them. Um, and all that was new. I had not seen them. I had seen these in the store, but they only had the vanilla. And I didn't get them. I wasn't thinking I should have got them vanilla too. They didn't have, they had the vanilla in Freeport. So if I go to Freeport, I can check there. This is a repeat purchase, the own brand hand soap. It's a uh, tea tree and cucumber. These are good. I just take these to work and I put them in the bathroom. Anytime I can get the like name brand soaps for $1.25, I do. Of course, the company provides soap, but I don't like it. It's yuck. So I usually try to, you know, get my own. Well, it's not just for me. It's for everybody that uses the restroom. They had a few new um, Guru Nanda products. Or maybe they've had these and I've just now paid attention to them. But 60 floss picks. These are the dual line floss picks. So I got that. They had these interdental brushes. You get four of them with a cap and they're mint flavor. And they had the interdental picks with the travel case. You get 20 of these. Got those. I got the big gel velocity pins, a four pack, and I did go back to check to make sure these were a dollar twenty five, and they were. Um, I was thinking that they had originally had these in the plus section, but yeah, they were a dollar twenty five. So I was glad to get those. I go through pins. I don't know that I necessarily go through pins. But there's probably a million pens throughout the house everywhere. Because when I need a pen, I'm usually having to go search for one. Anyway, I got a few more things. A little Krabby Patty to put in a gift. I love these. This is one of my favorite. One of my favorite things. I love Krabby Patties. So I got that. I got these for a gift. To put in a gift. Some... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle socks. I want to put this and um, some of the like fun socks that we had gotten. I got some duplicates. I want to take the duplicates out of the stack and uh, gift those. So I got oh, another one of those. And then uh, last but not least, they had the um, Disney Dorables steel. And y'all know I can't help myself. So I bought some more. I already had six, but I couldn't walk past them. So let's open up these and see what we got. Hopefully I didn't get duplicates. Although I feel like I've been getting quite a few duplicates. Oh, nope. I don't have her. How cute. Let's see. What is, her? what's her name? Well, that's fun. That's Pearl from Finding Nemo. I don't have pearl. That's cute. Uh, is this Daisy? I feel like I have her. Yep, yeah, Daisy. I can't, I had a whole chart of this marked off and I don't, can't find it. I think it might have got put into the bags with the Christmas presents. Because I, I went to the Disney room and I can't find it. But I guess I'll find it eventually when I go in there. I decorate. Oh, yeah. And here's Forky. I know I have him. There's Forky. So, anyway, guys. That is it for my Dollar Tree haul. Just didn't find a whole lot. Um, there's a ton of stuff there. Don't get me wrong. But stuff that I, I can use. Stuff that I need. I didn't find much. I'm here at Target in the dollar spot and I saw this. How many of y'all remember the clear phones from the 80s? How cool. It's 
it plugs into your cell phone? I don't know. No, it can't plug into an iPhone. It shows an iPhone, but I don't know. Anyway, we're going to have a banana phone headset. Huh? How strange is that? What do bananas say when they answer the phone? Yellow. I at Target to get my daughter's birthday present, which is going to be all these curtains. They only had six of them, though. We need eight. Hmm. So I want to help her redo her bedroom over the Christmas break. She doesn't know that yet, though. I bought her a comforter. The same exact gray comforter that I have on my bed a while back at Ollie's. So we'll use that. I have these curtains and I got her a black Ray Dunn throw. So I think that'll be the basis of getting started to redo her bedroom. Watching someone's vlogmas and they had purchased these Lego sets. And they had like a whole little Lego village. I had no idea that was even a thing. I'm right here. Check it out. It is like the starter of a, let's see, Winter Village Collection Main Street for $99. Here's another little piece of it. Look at the gingerbread. The gingerbread house. Look at the little, the little kid one. So fun. How fun would that be? For somebody that likes to do Legos to start a little village. These sets. This is a Nintendo Entertainment System. $269.99. How fun is that? Look at it. And oh my goodness, this is even more nostalgic. Atari video computer system. Lego set for $239.99. Oh, I definitely remember my brother having an Atari. Here's the back side of the Atari box. That is so cool. I wanted this on my Christmas list. Barbie Dream Camper. Oh my goodness. I did have the Barbie. It was like an RV on wheels. I don't know. It was cool. I don't remember what it was called. Mmm. Yes, that would have been on my wish list. $89.99. You know the little things you get with that. So I've been scoured the curtain section again to see if I can find two more of these curtains, but no, I couldn't. And then I was just looking here to see if there was anything else that, you know, might go with a room. But I think these curtains are $12.99 each. The comforter was... $19.99 so I think that's probably good enough for for me to purchase plus the blanket was $9.99 I think that's good enough birthday present if she wants some other stuff she can buy it herself all right and maybe when we redo her room she'll let me do a little filming if not well maybe when we get it all put together we'll check y'all while I was there at Target that I was getting my daughter the curtains for her birthday which I did I got six of them we need eight, so we're short two. We're gonna be able to do anything about that until Target restocks or we'll have to go to another Target. Anyway, the curtains were $77.94, but my youngest daughter, when she checks out at Target, she uses my phone number and like adds her totals so that I get money when I go to check out. I don't know, it's the sweetest thing. So she had built up my circle earnings for me to, to $12.15. So I got the six curtains. Basically, I got a curtain for free. Isn't that so sweet for her to do that for me? Huh, she's, she's precious. So I got the curtains, uh, $71.22 for six curtains. Here's the Ray Dunn blanket I was telling y'all about. It's a throw. A soft plush throw. I found this at Ollie's for $9.99. It says love. I think that'll be perfect for her bedroom. And also at Ollie's, I got her this comforter. So it is a member's mark. Pretty sure that is Sam's Club. And 
$19.99 for a king size comforter, which is the exact same comforter that I have here on my bed, which I've showed y'all several times. It is a really nice comforter, guys. I, I really like it. So anyway, I, I bought this bag at the Dollar Tree. I'm hopeful that all this will fit in the bag and um, I wanna get this put together for her. This is a really big bag, guys. Only thing, it's not gusseted on the bottom. They had several different styles, but I got the a black one so she couldn't see through it. The other ones were like white or almost, I don't know, they were white. I figured she'd be able to see straight through that. They do come with a little piece of rope to tie around the top and a little to and from tag. Here's the gift bag. That thing holds a lot, guys. The comforter, six cartons, and that Ray Dunn blanket. I like it, pretty nice. Got the tag on there. I did get out my lighter and I burned the ends of the little rope. They were frayed, so there it is. Ready for a birthday. At H -E -B, I'm gonna put in the and I'm home. So mostly bought what I needed to for the party, the Christmas party that I'm going to. I'm going to make a loaded potato dip. It is basically everything that you would put on your potato without the actual potato. So here we go. I'm going to have to look at my, my list. I got some, th this has not got anything to do with the dip. I got some of these tomatoes, $3.48. I'm just gonna freeze them. These are great for if you're making Spanish rice and you want some, to, uh, you know, tomatoes to put in it. If you are making a soup and you wanna throw some tomatoes in it, these are great. These are frozen already. I'm gonna add these to it. That way I have some fresh vegetables in my freezer to make like soups and stuff. So I already have some zucchini and squash in there, some more tomatoes, it'd be perfect. I needed some green onions for the dip. This was 48 cents for the bunch. I actually was just gonna buy the kind that was already cut up and they wanted $3 and it was way more onion than I would ever need. So I skipped and did it myself. I got these strawberry parfaits and they did not get rung up correctly, which is the only reason why I bought them because they were supposed to be 50% off and I I wasn't thinking. I'm the one that rang them up. They were $3.48. They're very, very delicious. I enjoy these. I don't necessarily use the granola that's in them. This is my favorite granola. I get this at Costco and it is amazing. So I will throw away their granola and use my own granola. And I got two of them. So that was um, $6.96 for these. And I could have got them for half price. So I'm gonna save what $3.50. So that kind of sucks. But what you gonna do? Next, this is the, the last few things are for the dip. So sour cream. This was $3.48. Some bacon. I just went ahead and got it already chopped. You could, you know, cook your own bacon and chop it and go through all that, but this is good enough. $4.60, so it is a little pricey, but you're paying for the convenience, right? Two cups or eight ounces, which is two cups of cheese. I got the Velveeta cheese, $2.58. And then I got a party pack of Ruffles for $5.48. So that is just my little grocery haul. I didn't need much, but I needed to pick up these items because I need to make the dip. It needs to sit in the refrigerator so all the flavors can like meld together. And you also put ranch, um, a little bit of ranch in, in the seasoning. And you can put like a Louisiana hot sauce, a little bit of Louisiana hot sauce. I'll probably just use the Tapatio hot sauce and um, make the dip. Maybe I'll make it with y'all as part of this video. But that is it, guys. Let's press on with tomatoes. the tomatoes. I'm just gonna let them freeze flat individually, and the ones that I took out, 
um, that were already in the bag, I took them out and put them in their own bags so that I could use the little bag first and then these. I am now going to make the loaded baked potato dip. It does need to refrigerate. So I wanna make it, you know, in plenty of time so it can sit in the refrigerator for several hours. I did get the bigger sour cream. I got a 24 ounce sour cream. I got eight ounces of cheese. The recipe called for 12 ounces of bacon pieces. That would be a lot, a lot of bacon. I got the 3.5 ounce. That would be like $15 worth of bacon. So no, we're not using 12 ounces of bacon. And I'm gonna use the tapatio salsa. It's two teaspoons of salsa. I cut up three onions and it calls for three tablespoons of ranch seasoning. So we're gonna get this mixed up. It's just super easy. Literally just dump everything into the into the bowl and stir it up. All the ingredients, of course, the onions, the bacon, the cheese, the ranch, sour cream, and the hot sauce. It is before I put it in the fridge. It turned out perfect, guys. I did adjust the quantities on this little um, recipe. So 24 ounces of sour cream, three tablespoons of ranch seasoning, or you could use a whole packet of ranch. Eight ounces of cheese shredded, 3.5 ounces of bacon pieces, two green onions, two teaspoons of a Louisiana style hot sauce. Put it all in the bowl, give it a swirl, get it mixed up real good and put it in the fridge. So that is it for the dip. I'm running a little bit behind for the month of December, but I want to still share with y'all my December layouts. This is the last month in this planner. And so here it is, just a combination of different uh, washi tapes and stickers and just a lot of fun Christmas cheer. I always have a lot of fun putting these planners together. Little creative outlet for me each month to do these. And the last layout. I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. And if you have, please give the video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below. Become part of my friends here on YouTube. And I will see each of you in my next video. Bye, guys.